Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Almighty God. This is the best time to connect to this kind of broadcast because the, your life is not going to remain the same. God has already destined that there is going to be a change, a shift in the realm of the Spirit in your favor. Congratulations for connecting to this broadcast because God is going to be turning situations around in your life, in your family, in your home, in your business, in your marital life. Anything that has been grounded in your life by the reason of this broker and the power of God that is available, there will be speedy movement again in the name of Jesus. Whoever you have, if you don't mind, why don't you open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord? Just say, Father, thank you. If there's only one thing that you can say, that you can remember to say, you are not saying it amiss. Once you say, Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. The Bible said that we should... Come into his presence with singing, with rejoicing. Enter his gate with thanksgiving and his call with praise. Just say, Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you for this hour of deliverance. Thank you for this hour of change in my life. Thank you for this hour of victory. Thank you for this hour of favor. Thank you for this hour of fruitfulness. Thank you for this hour of power. Open your mouth and just begin to bless him for the hour that you are hoping it will be in your life. And it shall be unto you as you are speaking right now. If I said that they are spoken in my ears, so shall I do unto them. Father, I thank you for this hour of honor, hour of breakthrough, hour of peace, hour of bliss, hour of joy, hour of victory. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God said I should tell somebody. The shield that was removed from you, which has made you to be vulnerable to different attacks, has now been returned to you by a spirit in the name of Jesus. That means that you are not being shielded. No more careless attack getting at you. God said that you tell somebody you fell, but my mercy has just been released unto you, and you are going higher than you were before. Just open your mouth and say, Father. Everything that must be done in my life for my life to receive divine boost. Please let it be done in this broadcast. Everything that must be done that is not yet done for my life to receive divine boost. Please let it be done. In Jesus' mighty name, we are pray. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah. Is your name? This is the time for warfare. Mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your in Jesus' name. Every name must bow. In Jesus' name, every tongue come. In Jesus' name, every name must bow. In Jesus' name, every tongue come. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father. Say, Father, every knee, every power, every force from my father's house, the one from my mother's house, the one from my neighborhood, the one from my place of work, the one from my church, the one anywhere militating against me, scatter them by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Every knee from my father's house, my mother's house, in my neighborhood. The one in my place of work, the one even in my church, anywhere that I have a presence, that there are forces that are cooperating together against me. Let the fire of God go against them, go against them, go against them, scatter them, scatter them. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I just saw something a barrier of bees. bees. Bees normally sting. And I saw that there is somebody that, and whenever you see bees in the dream, it talks about satanic army, organized satanic army, assigned against a particular person. And I just saw it in a flash now. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, say, Father, every satanic army, every satanic power, Every corporation in the kingdom of darkness 
against my life. Let your consuming fire be released against them now in the name of Jesus. Father, every satanic army, every satanic force that have been militating against me, let your consuming fire be released against them. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I'm seeing something like a pipe connecting. Oh, thank you for vision tonight. Thank you for vision, vision, vision. I'm connecting to somebody's spiritual life. The person is doing so much, but they are sucking your strength. They are sucking your strength. Hence, you feel weak spiritually these days, like never before. Hence, you are making effort, but it's as if as you are trying to fetch water into your spiritual tank they are just sucking there's a pipe that have been connected just draining you today i decree into that satanic pipe that have been connected to your spiritual life let that pipe be roasted by fire let that pipe be destroyed let that pipe be removed in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray and say father every satanic pipe every satanic straw every satanic connection draining my spiritual strength remove and destroy 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 in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen i saw a crown not too long that crown was taken away and is i is being hidden in a bush there is somebody that ought to have been elevated in a particular place that you are operating. But the person is being relegated. People that are not even doing as much, they are being recognized. Today, a change has come to that situation. Just like God just showed us right now. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, every crown of mine that has been stolen, all that have been lost, let there be a restoration. Father, put the crown upon my head. Put the crown upon my head back in the name of Jesus. And anyone that is behind it, expose and judge. Expose and judge. Expose and judge. Expose and judge. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God said I should tell somebody, you need a miracle to take you out of the ditch that you are in. I don't know what ditch anyone is in, but there's somebody that is connecting, connected to this broker right now, that you are in a particular ditch. Whether it is a problem, it could be financial ditch, it could be marital ditch, it could be health ditch, but you need a miracle. That miracle that you need, let it be delivered unto you. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, <coughs> say, Father, every miracle that I need to take me out of any ditch of despair, ditch of disgrace, ditch of lack, ditch of blindness, ditch of loneliness, ditch of retrogression, ditch of failure. Any miracle that I need, Father, grant unto me, grant unto me, grant unto me, grant unto me. I must get out of the ditch. I must get out of the ditch. I am not a candidate for the ditch. I must get out of the ditch in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. There is somebody that God is turning me that you want to make a decision, but God, the, the devil is bringing confusion into your life by different mouths giving you suggestion diverse suggestion and it's getting you confused and as you are confused you are not able to take the decision because you are scared i decree let every suggestion that is not it fizzle off in the name of jesus and let the one that is the one that you need to make to actually get it right to make progress let God assist you in it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray and say, Fire! Every decision that I must make henceforth, please guide me. Please lead me. Please help me in the name of Jesus. Every decision I am to make henceforth, guide me, lead me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. God said there are 
people in the land that we are in. Some people are not in this nation that I am in right now. But see, pray that prayer because I believe that it's effective in that area that you are in. There are some people whose activities in this land they are disturbing your progress. It could be your neighborhood. Disturbing you somehow unknown to you. Disturbing the things that ought to come to you. But I'm praying today marks the end of those people in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, anyone whose activities may be disturbing and denying me of any good thing that ought to be mine. Father, today marks the end of such. Remove them. Remove them. Remove them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Dear Father, Father, thank you for this opening prayer. It was not planned. I was thinking I would just sing as usual and after the message, but all this just started coming. You were showing me vision and we we're praying on it. Father, everything that you have dealt with now concerning our life, let there be permanence in the name of Jesus and let there be quick manifestation. The bullets and the missile that you have already helped us to shoot at the camp of the enemy, let it be devastating to such camps in the name of Jesus. Let those camps be left desolate. Father, as we are about to go into your world, let your word come forth with power, with clarity, with anointing. And let your word set us free from every form of bondage. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you for connecting to this broadcast. This is a meeting like never before. I was not planning that we are going to be praying at the beginning like that. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit got to control. And it is because of somebody, it could be me, or somebody that is listening to this broadcast, that the case of the person must be mentioned and quickly dealt with. And that is it in the name of Jesus. I'm going to be talking about stopping the stopper because before they stop you. Stopping the stoppers before they stop you. You know, I was telling the people that were in church a few hours ago that God showed me a vision yesterday. And the vision happened to be somebody in a car. Or was it the, was the person in the car safe? Or was the person standing by the car? But somebody in the car, I saw it very clearly. And you know, as it is, when you are observing a scene, and I saw that the person saw that the car was not moving and the person was out of the car. Look at the tire. One tire was deflated, flat. Wow. Then, as the person was going, the eye just caught the second tire, flat. Uh -uh. And that moved the person to want to check the other two tires, flat, flat. Wow. At that point in time, I said something in my heart in that, in that vision. Oh, unfortunate. Ah, this is bad. Well, immediately I said that, I, not that I heard a voice, but, you know, as dreams can be, I just had this understanding. I, it's as if I knew what happened. And I just had the understanding that it was not normal. That it was the activities of the enemies of this person. That the person did not know. Maybe the person went to do something out of the car. And before the person came, the enemies of progress of that person had already deflated the tires. If it was one tire, <clears throat> a person will have extra. How will a person change four tires? And it was not in, it was like in, in, on the express. And I woke up, although I prayed that whoever or whatever that could mean, let the Almighty God frustrate the plan of the enemy, or if he's already working in some. And I'm sensing that this happened to be the picture of somebody that God had designed that this particular VG will be for. Somebody that the car, the car was fine. Everything about the car was okay, but it was not mobile by the. 
The tires were supposed to make it mobile, but somebody, an enemy, had done this. Just like Matthew chapter 13, 28 said, when we were talking about the sword that went to Silbu Sea, um, they just developed, they just discovered that <clears throat> there were tests. And the someone was asking, what happened? Uh, he said, an enemy had done it. Everything that the enemy had done in your life, that is bringing stagnation, that is bringing frustration. Let the Almighty God undo now, undo now, undo now, undo now, undo now, undo now. In your marital life, undo now. In your financial life, undo now. In your health, undo now. In your family, undo now. In the name of Jesus. I need to put anointing of that in you. <laughs> let me put that on. Let me do that. Let it, let it come to upon my head very well. I hope it is for though. Okay. I know that it is not just me. It is not just me that is talking this night. It is the, the prayer of the man of God. I hope I have not put this into my as I can feel it flowing. Oh my. Anyhow, it is well. But I decree anything that the enemy had done up in your life, in your finances, in your marital life, in your health, in your home. Let every such thing be undone now in the name of Jesus. The power of God is available. Whenever God shows a person vision like he showed me, you know what? It's because he loves that person. Whenever sometimes some people will have dreamed, person, how they dream? It's because God loves you. Do you know that there are many people that have died? Sudden, they call this sudden death. They did not see it coming. Whenever God showed you, even though some of those dreams could be terrifying, but it's because of God's love for you. That is why. Because God wants you to be terrified, be unsettled, which will now move you to pray, and by the reason of your prayer, it will now effect a change. That is what God is trying to do. Anytime God allows a vision, just like we have said, is because God wants to change that situation. And you know, sometimes we will not just budge into your life. He will be breaking his own door. He said, that action will be given. And you are not even asking because you don't even know what to ask. So by the time he gives you some dreams like that, ah, I saw myself in the whole house. I saw myself in the, uh, he wants you to pray again. Every spirit of retrogression so that he will answer it and cancel what is happening or what the enemy is programming. So it is a blessing for you to even have a vision or a dream. Even if it is bad, then you can pray against it. There was a particular time God sent Jonah. In the book of Jonah chapter 3, 4 and 5. Jonah chapter 3, 4 and 5. He sent Jonah to Nineveh. Go and tell them that in 40 days that he will destroy the land. Guess what? God, I, I now discovered the style of God. God really, <laughs> God did not want to destroy that place. He sent you. If you want to destroy somebody, you will not be sending message. You, it will just be sudden. They call something sudden death in in football one particular time. It will just be sudden, so that the person will not even have opportunity to repair. Whenever God is saying, "I'm going to destroy you," uh, it's because God wants the person, the people to hear. And that was what happened. The Bible said that they just heard that and they now started fasting. That ah, and the Bible said in. Jonah chapter 3 verse 10. Jonah said, eh, you see now, they, are, they, are, they have changed, they have repented. I will not depend anymore. I just laughed. It is because ah, this time, this time that he used. He told them, because if you don't have to destroy them, you will not tell them. <laughs> you just go, that 40 days we just, it will just meet them on our way. Boom. But when God allows a person to see something in advance is because god really wants to every person whenever god has shown just like i said that god showed us this vision it could be for me it could be for my loved ones it could be for somebody that i don't know that will hear this message because god had already know i didn't even know that i would be, we would be doing this vigil about how many hours ago about six hours ago or maybe five hours ago i didn't know but the thing just came on me heavily that we'll be doing VG. I said it's next week. 
do the vigil, the hour that you are going to be praying in this 12 to 1 is that hour that has been that have been set in heaven that the prayer you pray concerning this thing will be effective. Another time, there is a particular time that the angel will stir the water. If you come in after that time, sometimes it may not work. Ah, I now say that against all odds. Eh? No, we have never done VG like this before since inception of uh, KRPO or King Scott. It's not usually the fourth one. Say that you are doing this one, and that one does not stop the next one. Okay, sir. That's why I decree into your life. Anything that you have been trying to stop your progress, in fact, the one that have been stopping your progress, see, today, let the power of God consume every one of them in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, say, Father, say, Father, every power that has been assigned to stop my progress from any quarter, let all of them be stopped by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Stop by fire. Stop by fire. Stop by fire. Every power that be assigned to stop my progress. Financial progress, my tax progress, progress in fulfillment, progress concerning my health, progress concerning my destiny, progress in my family, progress in my ministry. Every power assigned to stop my progress. Father, arrest, 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 arrest in Jesus' name. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. So whenever God shows a person a vision or makes a person to hear a message, the message that the person want to change is because God loves that person. In the book of Matthew chapter 14, 28 to 32, Matthew 14, 28 to 30, you know, Peter saw Jesus Christ walking on water. And Peter said, Lord, it be, be you. Bid me come. And Jesus Christ said, come. And the Bible said that he stepped on water and he started walking. All of a sudden, he just saw the wind. Bush straw. The wind was just mescal for me. Anyhow. And the Bible said something that I consider to be ridiculous. Very ridiculous. And the Bible said, and Peter, beginning to sink, I said, which kind of language is that? You are in the middle of the ocean, or the middle of the sea, even the middle of the river. You are on top of the water by divine making. And the faith that held you up, you lost it. And the Bible said that Peter beginning to sink. Do you begin to sink? <laughs> you just try and throw stone inside the water <laughs> and see whether that stone will begin to sink. Every stone, <laughs> it will just be tomb. It will just enter. But I now discover that God Utter the law of gravity for Peter so that he will have the opportunity to cry unto God or to cry unto Jesus, and Jesus Christ will now respond to that cry and he will now save him. <laughs> Imagine beginning to sing, I think we kind of English this is he sank, he sank because it was. A, in the middle of the, the, the ocean. Let me even read that part. Matthew chapter 14, 28 to 30. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind bush thrust, he was afraid and beginning to sink. That is the phrase, funny phrase. Beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him. Well, that was all oh God. God. God can have style. You know, he, said, he, he wanted him to call on him. <laughs> so he made the sinking to be gradual. 
<laughs> because because when you are inside the on top of the water, you don't begin to sing. <laughs> before even if you want to say, G, the G will be meeting you inside. G so so no, you can say G outside. So will be meeting you inside the water. But if I say that he begins to sing, and he now cry to Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ rescued him. And what am I saying? When God shows a vision or lets you hear a message or gives you something that could happen negatively, the reason why God is saying so is so that you can pray and He will now answer that prayer, avert it, or change it, or alter it. Have you forgotten Ezekiah? Ezekiah, God sent a messenger to him. He sent Isaiah, go and tell him. That he should put his house in order. That should be Second King chapter chapter six. Yeah, I didn't put that that down in my notes. Second King King chapter six. No, Second King chapter twenty one to six. Second King chapter twenty one to six. And he told him, "Put your house in order, for you will surely die." And he turned to the world and he started praying, and God changed it. So anytime God gives you a, a, a dream or allows you to see a dream and you saw something that you don't like he likes you that's why you mean so yeah so that you will now arise pray against it and that thing will now not be what it had been determined to be that's just the reason today is your day of deliverance in the name of jesus today is your day of victory in the name of Jesus. Today is your day of total emancipation from any power that has held you bound. In the name of Jesus. Which day do you want your freedom? <laughs> today is my day. I want you to say that. Say, today is my day. Yeah, I can hear some people saying it. I want you to say it. I say, let it enter into your sign. En enzyme. Let it enter into your spirit. Today is my day of total deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Don't be like Pharaoh. Pharaoh, you know, Pharaoh, there was a particular plague that came that God um, used Moses to put forth. Frogs. Frogs just multiply. In Egypt. Sometimes God can make your enemies to be fools. Pharaoh said, I was the big deal about that one. My magician, you to come and do this. It's no problem that he's bringing to his land. My magician, come and do the same thing. He what he has ordered. Those are not the more frogs game. <laughs> he said, I to say, do the one that will kill frog. They do the now multiply frog. God will make all your enemies to become so foolish that their foolishness will be bringing problems to their life. In the name of Jesus. Pharaoh now come on, Moses. Moses, Moses, oh yeah, come, 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 come. Trump, I beg. Help me to talk to your God. Eh, I should talk to your to my God. That okay, I've heard what you have said. But tell him to remove all this from. Please. I beg. And eh, Moses now said, okay, no problem, I will talk to him. But which which when do you want the frogs will be removed. Guess what he was saying? He said tomorrow. Ah! <laughs> he has said that one. God can make he can make your people confused and become fools. Tomorrow, there are frogs that are all disturbing you. <laughs> Let me read that part. Exodus eight eight to ten. Exodus eight. To, he said tomorrow. See, what he was saying? When, when 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 do you want me to tell God to remove these frogs from you? He said, hey, tomorrow. Uh -uh. I was saying, why did he say? Now, Exodus 8, 8 to 10. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and said, Entreat the Lord that he may take away the frogs from me and from my people, and I will let the people go that they may do sacrifice unto the Lord. And Moses said unto Pharaoh, Glory over me. When shall I entreat for thee, for thy servants and for thy people, to destroy the frogs from thee and thy houses, 
that they may remain in the river only. 10. And he said, Tomorrow. <laughs> and he said, Be it according to thy word, that thou mayest know that there is none like unto the Lord our God. Praise the Lord. Imagine he said, Tomorrow. When do you want your own problem to end? When do you want your breakthrough to come? When do you want the alert to start ringing? Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, today, stop all the stoppers of my progress. Today, 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 today. We are in the very, very early hours of this day. Stop every stopper of my progress. Every enemy of my progress. Father, eradicate them. Anything that is disturbing me, even the ones that are so complicated that I don't even know about. Father, get rid of them today, today. Today, 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 today. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You have to stop them before they stop you. I remember something. There was a particular word, the shortest word in history. If you Google yourself, you they will, they, will, they, will, they will bring out the story of that word. Shortest word in history. It, it lasted for, I think, six days. June 5 to... June 10 or 11, 1967 or so. Not 1967. No, not 19. It was, yeah, I think it was something like that. Israel versus Egypt, Jordan, and uh, all these Middle East, they just gathered together. Egypt said that Israel, in his consideration, the president of Egypt that time, said that in his consideration, Israel happened to be a geographical error let's wipe it off from the surface of the ground and they edge them in hey this is not bible this yellow versus egypt this happened to be i'm talking about 1919 don't <laughs> google it the shortest word in history and we can just help, 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 help the google to say israel versus ah they go they now got other nations to come as ally against Israel. They could not, they just, all the nation, neighboring nation, all of them, they just besiege Israel. Getting said, they lined up all the, what is this thing? This bomber, uh, something, ready to go and launch attack against Israel. All of a sudden, Israel, like, what will we, what we do? They are not as much as them. They, something like they were waiting that maybe by next week, they will do the attack. Israel said, the, I think the, their, their commander-in-chief said, we are going now to the place. All the planes that they have already lined up with the pilots, they just, on and now, woo, they just started throwing their bombs and started destroying all those planes. When you don't even have something to go and fly. <laughs> At the end of the day, before they knew it, they destroyed in Onana, before they stopped them, they were already stopping them. At the sixth day, the shortest war in Israel. Sixth day, all of the enemies said that we are not doing the game. Okay, okay, great. please. Okay, white flag, white flag. Today, every enemy that has been launching attack against you, today you are totally eliminating them. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, say, Father. Every enemy of my spirit, of my soul, of my body, of my family, of my calling, of my ministry, of my career, today, eradicate them, eradicate them, pray, 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 pray. eradicate them, eradicate them, eradicate them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. One enemy that we need to actually deal with, that can be a stopper, and it has stopped many people. In fact, two of them, cost and negative covenant. Cost and neg negative covenant. There was a particular friend of mine some years ago, we were, to go, we, we were on a project, and I was calling him, he was not picking my call. I was bothered and I was angry, because he was supposed to give me a report of the thing. Actually, we were on a project somewhere, Somewhere out of the, out of Lagos, <laughs> as I became a pastor, my 
you know, he just deputized it from, you know, he was able to give me information, he did not give me, ah, his phone was not going, and sometimes it would just ring, but at the end of the day, he called me back after many days, and he was telling me that, ah, talks, you know what, I'm sorry, I just saw you, I couldn't, I got a call that my immediate brother just died, I think that was about six years ago or so, or five, five years, maybe around five or four years ago, what I'm still talking about. I just got a call that my my immediate brother, whether I had that brother, I think I had that brother also, just died, and uh, I had to go there to the to our hometown for the right and some other thing. I, I said, sorry about that too. What happened? He said that, uh, in fact, this thing, he said, then the time that you, I was not picking your call, we had already buried him, but I went for deliverance. I said, why should you be going for deliverance again? He said, ah, I said, I thought you don't know. The way, that, his own will not be the first death, and that would be the second, or the third, or the fifth, ah, in the family. So immediately we finished, I knew, and this, my friend, goes to, you know, one church like that, and which they are also, um, they have this understanding of, spiritual and deliverance matter it had to just go i said what happened he said that is the son of the man that is his brother the son of his brother was talking to a neighbor and the neighbor they were fighting they they, they were quarreling not really fighting you know then the father who happened to be his own brother came out of their own compound that was the son trying to separate them the neighbor's son now went inside Carried mortar, mortar that they used to pound the arm. He just on the head of his that my friend's brother, that boy's uh, father, just eat it. He died on the spot. And he was not telling me that the way their other sibling died, they are really really strange, strange, strange ways. I was asking him for some question. Are you from so so? Say, we are from very family. Okay, no problem. No problem about that. What has happened? We just trace it that this thing had a covenant involving. And he too, this guy, very good. He <laughs> was better than me. He better than me in my profession, in my own consideration, he, you know. When I was in school, he already come. He happened to be a senior colleague, but it's just amazing that I am the one that was help me to supervise, the, help me to do this, help me to. But that 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 is just life. But there are some things that are stopping people. That they are beyond. They they are trying, but their efforts are not coming out. What which area is that in your life? Today you have gotten your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, send help to me in any area I am stranded. Just like that card that I saw in the in, in my dream. Send your angels to me. Send your angels to me. Send your angels to me in any area I am stranded. Please send your angels to me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Evil covenant can be responsible for people being stopped. In the book of Psalm 74, verse 20. God even has respect for covenant. If I tell you about Joshua, how he went into covenant with all the name of these people, so Gibeon, Gibeonites. He went into covenant. And God respected it. That covenant was still working against Israel. David was the king in I think that should be Second Samuel chapter. Um Second, second Samuel chapter 21, verse 1. Year after year, there was famine, and they said that it was because of this Gibeonite. Imagine years after. I don't know your own Gibeonite covenant that you did not make, home, but somebody had made that is now connected to you and is now affecting you. Today, mercy has come to you. I said, Today, mercy has come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me anoint myself. I, I, I'm feeling that that anointing has come. And this is the oil of that the Jew that the Jew paid on this on this oil. Let me use it.
so that every pronouncement that is coming from me, people have already like uh, giving testimony concerning this oil. Many people have been bringing their 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 olive oil. I said no, it's just this that I want to do. They said give me small first. I said before they collect everything, let me let me let me bury myself, bring and give bring bring my bring my small one to the house. I decree into your house, in into your life, in your family, in your house that any power that has been assigned to stop you today, that power is stopped in the name of Jesus Christ. So many things. I will tell you that, my friend, that I'm of the opinion that people should be going to deliverance every, just like medical checkup. They will always advise you that when you get to a particular age, it will be once in a year. After a particular time, it will be twice in a year. Deliver. That's why some people say that ah, I was delivered from this sin, but I'm already seeing the sign again. Don't you know that Jesus Christ has already told us that that is what will happen in the book of Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter 12, 42 to 45, Jesus Christ said that if a person is delivered from evil spirit, the evil spirit will go, but it will not come by. Say, let me come and see. If that place is seen, swept, nothing is happening, they will not come back. And that is the danger of not being consistent. Deliverance. It should be on and on and on. After a while, nothing is happening to you, but see, go through it. Nothing is happening to you, see, go through it. Nothing is happening to you, see, go through it. Especially if you are from a background that you know that, ah, my own people, they have served Mami Water, <laughs> they have served Ogu, they have served so many things. I pray that the Almighty God will bring total shattering of every cause, every covenant. Is this particular family in America, Kennedy family? Ah, the little I read about that family, you know, people were just dying prematurely. The last one that died, I even was even watching the documentary on that family. They they call it they call it the Kennedy Cost or something like that. It was so evident. The first daughter, Rosemary, you know, she was in asylum and um, um, mental people's home. The the that one died or praying in fact two of them also plane crash then the last one he and the wife plane crash the other kennedy was shot um in the office john f kennedy was shot in the office then another his brother john too was stabbed ah, ah. it's not ordinary and because that even though and these people are prominent you see that in the destiny of that family is great now because many of them are they know them but somehow something will just cut them short in mysterious, sad, unpleasant way. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, Father, every power assigned to stop me from getting to the place of my glorious destiny, let your fire consume, 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 consume. Pray, 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 pray. Every power that has been assigned to stop me, let your fire consume. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. There are some times we too, we have used our hand to bring stoppers into our life. There was a particular lady. She collected money from one man with presents that she will marry him. She knew she would not marry that man. No. <laughs> your job, she, your job demands money big time. She moved to another man did the same thing. I think it was the third man, was it the second man? That one said that, this thing that you have done for me, you will never marry. She did not know that that one plays cause, you know. And it was when she was 50, only 50 or 51, I can't remember now, that you no, know, she was not serious with God and, you know, the revelation that came out that there is somebody that has said something concerning you when you did something to him and you no know, the revelation that came out that that was it so some of us we could have done something in the time of ignorance but today mercy has located you mercy has located us open your mouth and pray and say father say father mercy 
that rejoice set over judgment. Release unto me, release unto me, release unto me, release unto me your mercy that rejoiced over judgment. Please release unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. When there is a cause, you don't use English to remove cause. It's prayer. It's, it's spiritual. Causes and covenant, they are spiritual. Or a particular lady, she discovered, she noticed a trend, very smart, that the grandmother, she had breast cancer. The, the mother, she died of breast cancer. She, she was still smart lady, high class lady. She just went to the doctor, remove my breast. <laughs> smart, she did that, she, she, she sounds smart. Guess what, when the cancer came, he went to the liver. You don't use brain to want to 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 bypass cause you pray that and we are going to be saying three things now number one what do you do to stop the stoppers of your destiny or the one that have been assigned to stop you number one you pray for bending the bible says in the book of matthew chapter 17 21 matthew 17 21 i'll be there are some things that will not go out except through fasting and prayer jacob he had done wrong. Many of us have done wrong. Every one of us, one time or the other. But Jacob, even with all the wrong that he did, he sought God. He was alone with God at this kind of time. In Genesis chapter 32, from 24 to 29, he prayed, he sought God. He said that he would not allow him to go until he blessed him. And the Bible said that in, in verse 29 of that Genesis 32, and there the Lord blessed him. Him. Today you are being blessed afresh. Today you are being favored in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two thing you should do. The first one, pray fervently, and God will break every stopper asunder. Number two, put yourself under the atmosphere of the ministration of the word of God from a genuine anointed of God. Whenever the word of God is coming out from the genuine man or woman of God, it's not coming ordinary. Jesus Christ said that the words that I speak to you, they are life. They are spirit. In the book of Psalm 107, 107 verse 20, Psalm 107 verse 20, he said, I sent forth his word, and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. In the book of Luke chapter 13, 10 to 13, Luke 13, 10 to 13, there was a particular woman that was bent down double. She was in the temple listening to the word when the word located her. In the book of Matthew chapter 8, verse 8 and verse 13, the centurion told Jesus Christ, speak the word only and your servant will be healed. And Jesus Christ said, wow. I've never seen somebody that has understanding that the word is able to move through the airwaves and get to where somebody is and effect the change. And the Bible said in verse 13 that that self same ah, the word got to the server and was here. I speak the word into your life. Anything that you are struggling with, anything that has brought pain into your life, into your heart. Anything that had brought frustration to you, anything that had been a form of disgrace in your life, anything that had not allowed your head to be lifted high by the power of the Most High God and the power of the anointing of God upon my life and upon the life of Pastor Ia Deboye, whose anointing I put upon my life, let that thing be dealt with now and eradicated. And let your joy start in that area. Let your breakthrough start in that area. Let your victory be handed over to you. Now in the name of Jesus. Then the third thing you do. Pray fervently in fasting. Because something will not go out. Then put yourself under the ministration of the word that will be coming with power and fire. As the word is coming, you are listening 
but you're doing so many things in your life and destiny. It's after all that you'll be seeing the manifestation. Then number three, pray in the Holy Ghost. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, the Bible says that when the enemy shall arise against you like a flood, the Holy Spirit will raise up a standard. Isaiah chapter 59, 19, raise up a standard against them. Are you there? You are not giving your life to Christ. This is the best time to give your life to Christ because we are about to say some prayers that I will now say before this broadcast we end. I don't want us to get to the expiration of one hour and we will not say some key prayer. But the prayer of a sinner is an abomination to the Lord. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 8. Proverbs 15 8. But when a righteous person is making his prayer, it's a delight. God likes it. God wants to change that situation. He wants to effect the change. Are you there? You know that you are not really pleased with your life. You know you have been struggling with one sin or the other, one habit or the other. Don't worry, we are not condemning you. In this place, we don't condemn. We are for your change. And we know that you cannot change on your own. You need the power of God. But the power of God cannot come into your life without you cooperating with that power. God wants you to take him in. That is why the Bible says in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, he's standing, standing at the door. He's, he can actually walk to the door. He has already done that when he came to see the disciple one time after his resurrection. He said, put your finger. We can walk to the door. But he chooses to stand at the door. It's a gentle spirit. He wants you to give him permission. Do you give him permission today? If you are ready to do that, can you repeat this words after me before we go into three prayer points. I think we have about 14 prayer points. Then we pray in the Holy Ghost. This broadcast is over. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, thank you for your word that has come to me today. I am sorry for all the wrongs that I have done. I'm not proud of them. Please cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. Strengthen me in those weak areas. Help me to stand in you and stand for you till I see you in glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. If you have done that, you are already connected to him. Just ensure you follow the leading of the Holy Spirit that has been injected into you by the reading of that prayer. Now we are going to be saying some prayer quickly now. Number one, say, Father. Say, Father. Thank you for the way of escape. From negative covenants, you have made for me through the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the way of escape. Ah, if not for that blood. All the covenant, my father, my forefather, my mother, my mother, ah, that, ah it will still be, it will be holding old, old, on to me. Father, thank you for the way of escape that you have made for me through the blood of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name, number two, say, Father, I ask for forgiveness <coughs> and also on behalf of my family lineage for all our wrong utterances and action resulting into negative covenant please have mercy on us we are asking for mercy on behalf of your family lineage all that they have done all the covenant that they have entered into you are representing your family now let me repeat, let me repeat that prayer say father i ask for the forgiveness and also on behalf of my family lineage of all the wrong utterances and actions resulting to negative covenant please have mercy on us have mercy on us have mercy on us <coughs> in jesus name. number three say father i consciously and boldly acknowledge jesus your son whom you sent to share his blood for me and my family lineage as my Lord and Savior today in the name of Jesus. Father, I consciously and boldly acknowledge Jesus Christ, your Son, who you sent to share this blood for me as my Lord and my Savior and the Lord of my family and the, I was the Savior of my family and the Lord of my bloodline and the Savior of my bloodline. I consciously and boldly acknowledge that in Jesus' name. Number four now. Say, I renounce any negative covenant 
I have consciously and unconsciously made. And those which have been made on my behalf by anyone in my family need today, I renounce, I renounce, I renounce every negative covenant. I renounce them in Jesus' mighty name. Number five, say, Father, I consciously enter afresh into a covenant with you through the blood of Jesus for you today to be my God. To be my health, to be my provider, to be my shield, to be my defender, to be my holy you now forever in the name of you. Don't know what we are doing. You, know? you are breaking covenant and you are re-entering into power covenant. And when you enter into covenant with God, God will not be the one that will be shielding you. Let me repeat that prayer. Say, Father, I consciously enter afresh into a covenant with you. Through the blood of Jesus today, for you to be my God, my health, my provider, my shield, my shelter, my defender, and my all in all. In Jesus, when you enter into the covenant with God, you can now have mouth and power to and to now we to feed the word that we are going to break now. Say, I therefore <coughs> and number six. I therefore decree by the power in the blood of Jesus that every negative covenant connected to me in any form be broken and destroyed, 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 be broken and destroyed. in Jesus' name. Say, I decree by the power of the, of, that be, by the power in the blood of Jesus that every negative covenant and the consequences that have been hauling at me, be stopped and cancelled, be stopped and cancelled in my life and my family forever. Every negative covenant that have been trailing my family from this day, be stopped and cancelled. No more consequences of any evil covenant in my life, in my family, in Jesus' mighty name. Say, I decree by the blood of Jesus. That every spirit or power enforcing any negative covenant in my life and family be bound and buried in the blood of Jesus. Every spirit and power that is enforcing negative covenant be bound and buried in the blood of Jesus. Number nine, where I will still post the prayer about 15 minutes after the broadcast. Anyway. Number nine, say, Father, send your blessings of refreshing. Unto celebration to me and my family. Henceforth, in the name of Jesus. Send your blessing of refreshing. Unto celebration to me and my family. From this day. In Jesus' name. Number 10. Out of 14. Say, Father, please keep me and my family free. From any negative covenant henceforth. Keep me and my family free from any negative covenant. In any guise. Henceforth. In Jesus' name. Number 11, we say, Father, surround me and my family with your presence as a shield continually. Surround me and my family with your presence as a shield continually. In Jesus' mighty name. Number 12, we say, Father, please release sevenfold restoration of all negative covenant are stolen or destroyed in my life and family. Father, everything negative covenant, anything cause are stolen or are stopped or are prevented in my sinful, sinful. Let sinful start coming out. Let sinful start coming unto me in the every blessing. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Number thirteen, say, Father, please help me and every member of my family and friends to make heaven glorious and with ease in the fullness of our time. In Jesus' name, number fourteen, say, I cover the answer. To all this prayer with the blood of Jesus. Unto an inner manifestation in Jesus' name. And the final one here is pray in the spirit for as long as you have a release. Where after this broadcast we will continue. Where immediately this broadcast is cut. Just open your mouth and say, Father, overshadow me with your spirit and give me divine utterance to stop every stopper of my progress. In Jesus. And don't you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Rabalaka Shana Ebele Koshito. Pray it until if it is five minutes, fine. If it is three minutes, fine. 
If it is 10 minutes, fine. Until you have a release that, ah, something has shifted in the realm of the spirit. Mashan, let even do that for 30 seconds. Holy Ghost, take control and come upon everyone powerfully, overshadow us, and grant unto us divine altar unto eradicating all the stopper of our destiny and our program. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Father, thank you for this one hour plus that you have already given unto us and you have given us freedom. Father, we will seek continue praying the Holy Ghost after this because this is a night like never before. You moved us to get this night done. It was not in our agenda. The devils, the demons, they are not even expecting that we will do this because we did not announce one week before. And it just keep it just like Israel. Just bomb all that they are said to use to attack. Father, that is what this night is for in our life. A night of freedom. Father, let your spirit of prayer come upon every one of us so that after this broadcast, we just continue and continue and have not just victory alone, and we even have blessings restored unto us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We are blessed for life in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to be posing the prayer very shortly, maybe about 10 or so minutes. God bless you. Stay favor and just know that the stoppers of your life and your progress they are already eradicated be blessed